assalamu alaikum and good morning and welcome you all viewers in the lecture of the series of the epidemiology subject in the today lecture of the epidemiology we will learn about the two terminologies the incidence rate and the prevalence we we will learn what's the difference between the incidence and the prevalence the okay incidence versus prevalence Okay. Incidence rate. Let's to go through from the the definition of the incidence rate. The incidence rate actually the incidence rate is the total number of the new cases in the risk population. And the total number of the new cases in the risk population in a specific time period it is called the incidence so how we will go to write in the formula of the incidence rate it is the number of the new cases divided by the total number of risk people in uh, risk in a risk populations okay in a specific time whenever you will go to calculate the rate in the epidemiology just to keep in mind the time should be specific in the in the rates just like the we will go to the, the, the if you will see the formula of the incidence rate it is the number of the new cases which is divided by the total number of the risk population in a specific time period so incidence rate is nothing it's a just the number of the new cases in a specific time period well on the other side the prevalence the prevalence actually it is the burden of the disease it is the combination of the new and old cases is the well on the other side it is the if you will go to if you will calculate the prevalence the prevalence is actually is the proportion okay is the proportion or the percentage of any disease in a total population in a specific time period it is called the prevalence okay well you are write down the formula the total number of cases total number of the cases and the, the cases it is the combination of the old and new okay the total number of the cases which is combined of the old and the new cases and the total population okay total population in a specific time this is called the prevalence and the prevalence the other name of the prevalence is the bod bod means burden of the disease and the prevalence you always say the burden of the disease what is the burden of the prevalence of the diabetic mellitus what is the prevalence of the hepatitis b and c and what is the what is the uh, burden of the uh, like a uh, what is the uh, percentage of the stis in in our community so this is called the prevalence the prevalence is the burden of the disease or you can say the magnitude of the disease you can also calculate in the prevalence and the prevalence you always it is tell the proportion of the disease and a specific population in a specific time period okay and the proportion is always explained in the percentage let's go through clear our more concept through an, an example about the incidence and the prevalence okay let's to go uh, clear our concept about the incidence and the prevalence through an, an example 
suppose a any a disease uh, we see the incidence rate of any disease in the year of the 2017 from the month of the january uh, till to the month of the december here the five number of the cases now the first case which is uh, it is uh, on seat before the 2017 it means it is it is happen it is occur in the 2016 when it is a reach at the month of the may or the july so it has been died okay the first case and the second case the onset of the disease it is happen it is occur in the 2017 and it is remains continue till to the 2018 now the third case is again is a the disease onset or is occur in the ma in the year 2017 and when when it is reach at the month of the september it has been cured okay now the fourth case again the disease had occurred in the 2016 it is remains continued till the mid of the 2017 and it is become a cured okay they got the treatment and it become a cure now the fifth case which is occurred in 2016 and it is remain continue in the 2017 and it is goes continues in the 2018 now in the incidence rate we learned that the in the incidence rate what was the formula the total number of the new cases okay and divided by the total number of the population at risk in a specific time okay a specific time now we will see how many number of the new cases which is occurred between the two and the join and the jan 2017 to till to the 2017 second number the case number second and case number third which is occurred in the 2017 and it is the second case which is remain continues 2000 till to the 2018 but the case is occur the new cases occur in the 2017 so one this this one and this one out of the five cases two new cases which is occurred in a 2017 now we will go to see the number of the people which is on the high risk this new case which is occurred in a 2016 and which is when it is a reach in a 2017 it has become a died so we cannot include it as a risk population in the risk case case number second and case number th third uh, third case number second and third which is occurred in the 2016 and uh, 2017 and so it is it will be count in the number of the risk population and the th Uh, the number of the third, fourth case which is again is occurred in 2016 it is remain and when it is reach in the middle of the in the middle of the 2017 is become acute so it is not the and the risk and this disease which is occurred in 2017 but it is not the disease become not onset but this fifth case is also on the high risk so out of three people which is on the high risk the two number of the uh, new cases which is occurred in the 2017 okay so it is the incidence rate now we will come up on the second example example number second the example of the second number it is tell about the prevalence what is the point prevalence here we learned the point pre prevalence is a two types okay one is called the point prevalence and the second one is called the period prevalence period prevalence the point prevalence we will 
calculate the burden of the disease or the prevalence or the proportion of the disease in a specific time period. This specific time period may be in the month, may be in a week, may be in a year. And the period prevalence is the burden of the disease or the proportion of the disease in a specific period of the time. It's a maybe in the months, it's a maybe the years, or maybe the 10 years or 5 years, it's a maybe one decade. Okay? Now, let's to see here. Okay? If you will see how many number of the cases, the point prevalence in the month of the May. If you will see in the month of the May, how many the number of the cases. So the first case, the second case, the third case, the fourth case, and the fifth case. The five cases will be the total cases, okay, and the point prevalence in the month of the May. Okay, if I will ask how many number of the cases of the point prevalence in the month of the July. So in the month of the July, the first case, which is occurred in the 2016, but it when it is reached at the middle of the month of the July, either June, it has become a diet. So it is it has been excluded. So now second case, third case, fourth case, and five case. In the month of the July, if you will see the point prevalence, it will be four cases. Okay. Now the same one, if I'll say, ask from you, what is the point prevalence in the month of the September? In the month of the September, again, case number second will be included. Case number third, which is included, which is occurred in the, in the, uh, the month of the Feb or March. And when it is reached at the September, at the, after the September, it has become a cure, but it will be counted. Okay, and the third case, which is occurred in the 2016, when it is remain continuing, when it is reached in the month of the July, in the August, in the August before the September, before the month of September is become a cure, so it is become a excluded, and the number five case, which is occurred in the 2016, but is remain continue 2017 till to the 2000. 18. So the this case will be also included. So if I'll ask the the point prevalence in the month of the September, it will be one, two, three cases. Okay. In the month of will be three cases. Right. Now if I ask what is the point prevalence in the month of the number? In the month of the number. In the month of November, case number two and case number five will be included, but case number one, third, and fourth will be excluded because they the two the third and fourth case will which will be cured, which is cured before the month of the November, and the number one case which is has been died in the earlier month of the this year in the 2017. So the in the in the number two number of the cases point as a point prevalence. Okay, if I ask, what is the period prevalence between the from the uh, July to the number? If I ask, what is the period prevalence from the month of the July till to the uh, November or till to the December. So how many cases? Case number one will be excluded, case number two will be included, case number three included, case number four included because it is a uh, in the month of the July it is a included. Okay and case number five. So the four cases which, which will be the period prevalence which is happened these cases which is occur between the July and till to the December. So, the period prevalence and the point prevalence is a little bit different from the each other. And the point prevalence is the number of the cases which is happened in the specific time period. While the period prevalence, which is the number of the total number of the disease which is, has been occurred 
in the specific time period. Okay, I hope in the today lecture it's clear your concept about the incidence and the prevalence of the epidemiology. And the last, I request you all subscribe my YouTube channel and watch my video lecture. It is a very informative for you and enhance your knowledge about the epidemiology. Press the bell icon. By pressing the bell icon, you will get my new lecture as soon as I upload on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Take care yourself.